Today's lesson is 10.3, day one, reading data from a two-way table. This is in your purple text, volume B, page 198, 10.3, chapter 10. So reading data from a two-way table. A scatter plot represents two sets of quantitative data, such as distance, time, height, or area, which are expressed with numerical measurements. A two-way table represents frequencies for two sets of categorical data or qualitative data, such as gender, sport, flavor, color, or shape. The rows indicate one category and the columns indicate another. So categorical data, um, you need to know the difference between the two of those, and categorical data or um, quanti qualitative data, um, it's something usually that's non-numerical, um, a category like uh, females and males, or sports cars, race cars, um, family cars, you know, things where you're, or square, circle, triangle, yellow gumballs, green gumballs, blue gumballs, so, you're, or you're putting some kind of a quality to it, like um, the favorite band that you listen to. Um, so it's non-numerical that we're going to be talking about. Consider a class of 40 students. There are 15 boys and 25 girls. Eight boys wear glasses and nine girls wear glasses. The frequencies can be represented neatly using a two-way table. The number of boys who do not wear glasses would be seven. There was 15, eight of them do, seven of them don't. Number of girls who do not wear glasses would be 16. So here's a two-way table being uh, delineated by boy and girl going on in the rows here. The rows are gender, boy and girl, and you can see that it's labeled out here on the left side. And the columns are wearing glasses, yes, or wear, not wearing glasses, no. So putting that categories all together, yes, there's a total of 15 boys, and there's a total of 25 girls. So all together, there were 40 students in this survey or um, data that we have. Notice that the totals or cumulative frequencies allows you to see how the class is distributed among the two categories, gender and glasses. There are 10 more girls than boys in the class. We also happen to know that. You can also use relative frequencies to summarize relationships in the data. So, um, we are now in your notes on page 29. Of all the cars shown in a catalog, 70 were chosen at random and classified according to their performance and fuel consumption. The results are recorded in this two-way table below. I know all together there were 70 cars, so that's the first thing I'm going to do is put 70 in the lower right-hand total column because I know all together there were a total of 70 cars. Find the total number of cars with high fuel consumption. Well, if I read across that row, one, six, and I don't know, I'm not going to be able to get a total there. However, I can figure it out by doing a few steps ahead of time. First step being, and you have this on page 29, find the total number of cars with low fuel consumption. Well, those I can add together, the 11, the 8, and the 2, which adds to 21. So I put that in the total column there. And the total number of, secondly, I can find the cars with medium fuel consumption, 8, 14, and 7, which adds to 29. So now I know that if there's 70 total cars, if I subtract the medium um, fuel consumption 29 and the low consumption 21 add those together and subtract that's 50 I would get 20 
total cars that must have high fuel consumption. Because 21 plus 29 plus 20 plus, uh, plus 20 rather equals 70. So find the number of cars with good performance and high fuel consumption. Good performance and high fuel consumption. So that missing piece that I have here, this box right here. Well, if there are 20 that have high consumption, 20, take away that 1 plus 6, 20 take away 1, take away 6 more, or 1 plus 6, I could add it together and do it this way too, would give me 13. So there are 13 cars with good performance that have high fuel consumption. So this number would be 13. Then on the next page, 30, it asks us to complete the two-way table on the previous page with the total number of cars for each performance category. So this is actually on page 30 in your packets, but I moved it over here onto this page um, just so that I could see all the numbers together. So total number of cars with poor performance would be 11 plus 8 plus 1, which gives me a total of uh, 20. So I'm going to put that in the total column. And medium performance would be 8 and 14 and 6, which gives me 28. And a good performance would be 2 and 7 and 13, which would give me a total of 22. Now if I add 20, 28, and 22, I will also get this total of 70 cars. So you have to make sure that you didn't make uh, any kind of an adding error or computation error there to make sure that it's filled in. And the way to check is going across both total column, it adds to 70, and the total row also adds to 70. So on to page 31 in your packets. A random sample of 220 items is taken from three different suppliers for quality testing. The results are recorded in the two-way table below. So 200 in total, 20 items. I'm going to go ahead and put that in here. Find the total number of items taken from supplier C for quality testing. Well, again, I'm missing this box, just like in the previous example. So first, I'm going to find A, supplier A, which is the 8 plus the 22 plus the 69, which adds to 99. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in the total column. Supplier B would equal 6 and 18 and 53, which is 76. Seven. So put that in the total column. Now if I take to find C, if I take 220 and subtract the sum of 99 and 77 from it, that's 176. 220 minus 176 would give me 44. So I have from supplier C, there were a total of 44 items taken. So now, find the number of supplier C's items which were re rated good, that blue box that I have here. So 44, take away the sum of 12 and 10, that's 22, so that's also 22. So this would be 22 that were rated from supplier C as good. And now complete the two-way table. Well, 8 and 6 and 12 makes 26. 22 and 18, 40 and 10 makes 50 for fair. And good would be 69, 53, and 22, which is 144. And then 144, 26. That's 170 plus 50. That's 220. So my row of total does it total to 220. And my column, 99, 77, and 44, also um, sums to 220. So um, again, make sure that that checks to make sure that all those come to the total number of items that you started with, which was 220. 
The third example here, um, 906, the annual workplace accident rates for 906 construction workers classified by trade are shown in the two-way table below. I'm going to leave this for you to complete this two-way table on your own and we will go over this in class tomorrow.